Hello and welcome to the 2018-2019 school year geometry class, um, unit one. And as you can see here, you have a unit one notes packet. You're going to be receiving a notes packet for every unit. There are 11 units, so you will have, by the end of the school year, 11 notes packets. In the notes packet, it will contain all of the concepts, and I'm going to just show you kind of show you like how it looks, all of the concepts that we are going to cover for the school or for that unit. All right. The notes packets are really good because they are really essentially a tool for you to go back and study when you have a quiz or a trimester exam or a unit exam. So really treat this notes packet as gold because it will help you. I will be hole punching the sides so that you can place it in a binder. If you don't have a binder, please see me about that. Um, but let's get started. So let me just fix that up for us. That 1.1 tells us the unit. So that one is the unit number. That's a little sloppy, but I just wrote unit there. And this is the lesson, okay? So that means that 1.1 is unit one, lesson one. And the name of this lesson is undefined terms. Undefined terms represents or defines objects that are the basis of more complex objects. In this case, your undefined terms are points lines, and planes, because they are very simple objects that make up the more complex ones. So for this lesson, the objective is for you to be able to define, sketch, name, and identify points, lines, and planes, and essentially for you to be able to describe them and to describe how these basic figures interact in space. Okay, so my pen is going to look a little wobbly, but don't worry about that. Okay, so what you'll see here and in many of the notes sections will be some pre-work. Um, it'll be an investigation of some sort, of some questioning, and sometimes it'll just jump into the definitions that you have to take. Um, whatever it is, I will let you know, but it has to be completed. Nothing can be left blank in the notes packet. So what you're going to do now is pause this video, just put it on pause, and you're going to answer these three questions to the best of your ability based on this map of Harlem. You're also going to mark, mark up this map based on the questions and what you're being asked. So please take a second, pause the video, fill out this section. Once you've done that, you're going to move on down here. And here are your definitions and essentially all of the notes that you need in order to have a completed video notes homework assignment. Pardon me for blocking that, okay? So I'm using the dot cam to do this and it's not perfect, but it's we're gonna get improved through time, okay? So don't worry, we are going to get this. I'm gonna just refocus, so if it goes blurry for a second, don't worry about that. All right, and I'm gonna just kind of focus in so you can really see these definitions. Okay, and there we go. And let's talk about what each of the following undefined terms are, how they look, and how we use notation to indicate them. So a point has a, is, it represents a specific location. It has no dimension, meaning it doesn't have length or width. So it's zero dimensional and it's represented by a dot, as you see here. So get down these three points. The diagram is just a dot with a capital letter attached to it. That tells us that this is point P, and our notation just is represented by, we can notate by writing point P, so please write that in this section, and you must use one capital letter, okay? It cannot be a um, lowercase. A line. So what is a line? A line is a connected straight path. More specifically, and even though it's not written here, a line is a series of points that are connected. 
infinite series and number of points because a line continues forever in both directions. Okay, so that means a line never ever ends. It is it made, it's made up of an infinite number of points and we indicate that with arrows. That means this line is going to go forever in both directions. And it has one dimension. And the dimension that it has is length. Okay? So uh, one dimensional figure, typically length, two dimensional will have, in this case, when we talk about planes, and we'll talk about them in a second, um, have length and width, and three dimensionals have length, width, and height. Okay? So let's talk about how we notate lines. So notice in this first diagram of a line, I have the line itself and then arrows on the end. That means this for sure is a line. And then I put a point on A and a point on B. That's one way to write a line and to notate a line, okay? A point on each very end right before the arrows and then capital letters. Another way to do this is to draw the line, making sure you have your arrows, and name it with one lowercase cursive letter. Cursive is script, okay? So we can name this line cursive script, or this can be read as line. And notice we have this mini line here, and the letters AB. Another way to write this would be the same line notation with the mini line, and BA, we could read it from right to left or from left to right. Either way is correct. Use the lowercase letter of the line or the name of the line, right? Like in this case and this case, or two points on the line with appropriate symbols, okay? And that's those. Finally, plane. What is a plane? Well, first of all, it's a flat surface. It also extends forever in all directions. And it has two dimensions. So it is a 2D figure. It has dimensions of length and width. And here is a sketch or diagram of a plane. Notice, I notice that we have three points. We know these are points because they're indicated by capital letters. And there's a dot right next to them. But then what about this letter here? Well, this letter represents the name of the plane. Okay? So we can name our plane using the single uppercase letter that is not a point. Or we can name the plane by the three, any three points in the plane. Now, what's interesting about naming the plane by any three points, like for example, we could name it ABC, or we could name this BCA, is that they cannot be collinear, meaning the points cannot form a line. And we're going to talk about what collinear means, okay? Um, collinear essentially means that if all the points are on the same line, like if I were to draw a line down here and C was over here, I wouldn't be able to name this plane ABC. But because C is not, it doesn't form a line, um, I can name it ABC. We'll talk more about that in our discussion tomorrow. Last thing you have to do is, um, again, you can pause the video if you missed any of this. And if you weren't able to make sense of my handwriting, you can always just quickly ask me to ver um, shoot me an email um, and just say, hey, Ms. Clark, I didn't catch this part of the, of the uh, video. Last thing you're going to do is to try it out. You're doing this completely by yourself. This is a part of your homework, and you'll see that with all the packets, there's a try it out, and that's always a part of the homework. So, again, if you have any questions, leave them in the description section or shoot me an email. Have a good night.